Hi, this is SynthChaser from SynthChaser.com. Today we're going to be replacing the original power supply in this emulator 2 with my new power supply. In general, I'm not big on replacing power supplies in vintage synthesizers, particularly if the original power supply is a nice linear power supply that's been working for 40 or 50 years and can probably work for another 40 or 50 years with no problem. The Emulator 2, however, uses a switch mode power supply, one that wasn't even designed and built by Emu, and by today's standards it's noisy and inefficient. So in my opinion, this one is a good candidate for replacement. So I'm making these replacement supplies. They're drop-in compatible with the old ones, and they're based around inexpensive but efficient Meanwell modules. There's nothing incredibly novel about putting together a power supply with these modules, and it rubs me the wrong way when I see people charging three to six hundred dollars for replacement supplies built on these cheap prefab modules. Obviously, materials may go up in price over time, but at the time of this video, my replacement supply costs less than hundred fifty dollars. Some things I like about it are, are that there's no exposed high voltage points. And like with my Lin Drum power supply, all the parts are through hole, so the supply can be repaired easily in the future, should it need to be. So let's install it. The first and most important step is to unplug the synthesizer. Not just turn it off, but physically unplug it. To get the synthesizer open, we'll remove these four screws along the top of the back panel, and these eight screws along the bottom panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we can open up the emulator. So to do that, we take the top half and we tilt it forward at the back. And then we can slide it forward so the front of the case clears the key bed. And we can lift it up and set it back here into the service position. The power supply sits on this little shelf above the output board. Disconnect two connectors that are plugged into it. This one on the left brings the AC line voltage to the power supply, and this one in the front has the DC outputs. This is the back side of a switch on the rear panel of the synthesizer that you used to use to select the line voltage, 115 volts or 230 volts. The new supply works with whatever voltage you throw at it, from 100 volts to 240 volts, with no configuration needed. So we can just cut these two wires coming from the switch. Now we'll unscrew the four screws that hold the power supply down. And remove the old power supply. You can see by the number of heat sinks and the charred power resistor that this isn't nearly as efficient as a modern power supply. We set the new power supply down in its place and secure it with the four screws that we removed earlier. We'll plug back in the two connectors. There's locking ramps on them, so they only go in one way. And now we'll close the synthesizer, We're replacing the screws that we removed earlier on the back panel and on the bottom. And that's it. Now our emulator should be good for another 40 years. While you're working on your emulator, consider adding a new backlit LCD display or some new sliders, which are also available on my website. I'm SynthChaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.